Well, the Crown Act is one step closer to ending race-based hair discrimination in Texas. House Bill 567 has been successfully voted 10 to 1 out of the State Affairs Committee. It was a week ago today when I testified on behalf of this bill, which will ban discrimination based on hairstyles and hair texture. The bill now heads to the calendar committee. It's last stop before reaching the House floor. Joining me this morning is State Representative Retta Bowers out of Garland, author of the Texas Crown Act. Representative, for those who might be hearing about this bill for the first time, what is the Crown Act? Hi there, Tashara. Thank you for having me. The Crown Act, and the acronym actually stands for Creating a Respectful and Open World for Natural Hair. Uh, so the Crown Act will, will prohibit race-based discrimination when it comes to students in the classroom, uh, people, men, women, men and women in the workplace, and when it comes to housing. Now, I, I know you have a personal connection to this bill. Obviously, we see you rocking your curls here today. And your own reasons <laughs> for wanting this bill to become law, what is that? You know, my personal reasons, as you said, I've gone through personal uh, transformation myself. And this has been a, a time of transformational change for me, but this will mean acceptance, real acceptance for men, women, and children in all places and spaces and at every table from the classroom to the boardroom. And it just will mean that people are accepted and can rock their hair however they wish, however it grows, and rock their crown however they wish. Now, this, um, Brett Bowers, this is the second consecutive session you've introduced this bill. Timing was partially an issue last time around, but it did make it out of the State Affairs Committee 10 to 1 this time. What has been the feedback on why you did not get the full support for this bill? You know, those are the thing, kind of things that happen in the House. So, I, you know, have not gotten real feedback. What I have gotten from my uh, colleagues on the floor and, and through the halls of this Capitol is that, Ruddy, you should be proud of 10 to 1. And people would love to get 10 to 1. Um, and they didn't want me to focus on the one because thanks to, to support like yours, Tashara, um, you know me, I'm going to go for unanimous support, which is what we had last time. But I'm glad 10 to 1 is what we got. And I feel like the Crown Act deserves a full layout. Yeah. You know, the people need to hear the full story. Uh, you alls stories uh, came out and came across beautifully last week. And that's what got us the 10 to 1. There are still members on State Affairs that I'm thanking daily uh, <laughs> for, for giving us those votes. I will say this uh, so folks can be aware of what's happening now. Now that House Bill 567, it's out of State Affairs Committee 10 to 1, like we just mentioned. What are the next few steps for this bill? Well, the next steps are we have to still continue to work it. Um, it. It is on its way to calendar, so I will have to talk to those committee members and make sure that I'm, um, you know, really working those relationships on the floor so that we can get it placed on the calendar. We're already voting on the floor. I stepped away today, but we're already starting uh, debate and votes. So the next step is the House floor. Once we get it out the House, you know, it's time to work the Senate. It really is time to work the Senate. And I want you to know that the Senate has already put in a request for a hearing over there. Okay. So the bill is moving. Okay, I want you to quickly tell me about this. I know next Thursday you're hosting Crown Day at the Capitol in Austin. That's open to the public. How can people find out more information about the bill, where it's headed, maybe get in contact with your office if they want to be a part of that? Certainly get in contact with my office. We will start the day with a press conference, and then we'll be moving through these halls, having advocates go and talk to their representatives. And we'll hope to provide a list of those conservative members that they need to talk to, just so that they're letting them know more about the Crown Act and why it's important that we pass this legislation. You know, Texas stands the chance to become the 21st state, Tashara. So we're moving uh, to do that. But calling my office here in the Capitol will be the best way to to make sure that they're plugged in on what's happening on April 6th. Okay, Rep Bowers, thank you so much for your work on this and good luck with everything. Thank you for your support. As Rep Bowers mentioned, while the bill did have bipartisan support, it did not make it out of the Texas House last session, partially again because the bill timed out. As some of you know, our Rooted series here at WFAA sheds light on many of the issues that the Crown Act hopes to address. You can find that full series on our website, WFAA.com slash Rooted. Of course, I'll be keeping my eye on the movement of this bill through the legislature and keep everyone updated.